Hi everybody, this is Chris Lettner at V-Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at the shipping assistant feature with the Dynamics GP integration. What this allows you to do is consolidate multiple sales transactions into a single shipment. And this is very useful if you're doing uh, particularly LTL type shipments or you want to consolidate uh, your orders to take advantage of any kind of UPS 100 weight or FedEx multi-weight discounts. What we'll do is put in our first transaction here and Starship will bring up all the order information on the screen and you can get to the shipping assistant by clicking on the magic wand here in the toolbar. That'll bring up a view for your shipper of all the related orders and they can take these orders here and move them into the same shipment so you can ship them together. You can also bring up this view automatically and we'll show you how to do that here. We'll cancel out of this order. If you go into the setup menu under preferences you have separate preferences for the shipping assistant for both freight and for parcel shipments. So we'll go ahead and turn that on and then bring in our same sales transaction. So as we enter this order 405, Starship's going to look at the GP database and find any other pending sales transactions that have quantities that are available to ship. So I can select these. We're going to go ahead and ship 406 together with 405. We'll skip over to the next part. And on this screen, this allows you to pack quantities, uh, individual quantities from different sales orders into multiple containers. And this is useful if you want to do a packing list. We can also feed that data back into GP so you have that for tracking purposes. And you can tell exact, exactly which products were shipped in each box. So we'll pack our first item here. Then I'm going to add another box. And we'll take these items here. We're going to split these into two different containers. We'll add another box and we'll pack these two. So now I have my three containers. I can expand this view here on the main screen and I can see exactly which quantities were packed into each box. I can also check the order view so I can see which quantities of each product came from each order. And we'll retain that in history and you can also see that here from the item view as well. Now if we save this transaction, we can take a look back in GP. Starship will take the freight amount, we'll divide that evenly across the number of orders that there are, and then we'll also take the tracking information related to each order for each quantity of the product that was shipped and put that into the notes. So we'll minimize Starship here, we'll take a look back in GP. Back in Dynamics GP, we'll take a look at the write back, and we can see in the notes here that Starship put the notes related to the boxes uh, for each product that was shipped out for this particular sales transaction 405. So you have box one and two here with the related tracking information and the quantities of each product that was shipped. You can also see the freight amount here was divided evenly. So we put that here on order 405. If we jump over to order 406, we'll see we have just the tracking information related to that particular transaction and the quantity shipped. And we also have the other half of the freight put on this sales transaction. That's the shipping assistant for Dynamics GP.